we knock the ducks out of our mouths. It's, then it's put a them deck Ouroboros. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're feasting on our own decks. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Old Man Vin, joined every week by Jordan Zvang and uh, the disappearing, reappearing, disappearing Pedro Mateus. And together with you, it's an emotional chat room dynamic. Jordan is live on Twitch, helping us form cocaine, Voltron, two canes, two canes man. It's like two cans, not two, two cans. Two canes, same. <laughs> two canes, same. Fr- oh, fr- fright lipes. Fright. I'd eat the fuck out of some fright lipes. <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't you want a heaping bowl of fright lipes? <laughs> like what's what's wrong, honey? You barely touched your fright lipes. <laughs> words that would never be uttered in my presence so we got a lot to talk about as you might have guessed you know the decks are going out so we got to cover that so that's going to be kind of heavy at the top but hey it is what's going on in the world another thing that's going on that we're not really going to touch on in show is apex legends if that is your thing that now works uh, you do need proton experimental right yep have Uh, that enabled no you don't need the bleeding veg version anymore it's been merged into the regular experimental so it's it's pretty decent. I went through the experiment myself. Um, who was it? John Marin uh, said, hey, Apex is running in a Proton. I downloaded uh, all 40 gigs, which expands to 80 gigs. Uh, Proton Experimental, easy anti-cheats. The reason we're bringing this up. Out of the box, no problem. Friction-free. And- Frickin' so, so, EA, so, man. So, right? So, so you're, 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 you're an Apex streamer now, Ven? We're, we're just seeing that now? I might have already uninstalled it. Um, after my 15 minutes of playtime. <laughs> which I think 14 of that was go through the tutorial. I'm like, oh, it runs. Okay. And you know what? I did my victory lap because it is free to play, but I had, I had redeemed it when it wasn't free to play because it came with my 2060. So I'm like, yes, <laughs> scratch <laughs> that one off. Still works. <laughs> still counts. And outside of that, um, just consolidating, uh, like, uh, you know, Mr. Mania, track mania server, jet seeks and all that kind of shoving that all into one thing. That was, an afternoon well spent because hey that there's a pro tip if you've got a bunch of little like virtual machines pulled up everywhere like do some maths like looking like okay what if i just like built one half ass reasonable ended up saving money which it wasn't for money it was for like i have too many ip addresses i have i'm ssh'd into too many damn <laughs> things that i was getting like <laughs> which what are you again god damn it having to go back to the control well, panel when, 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 once you need to start like setting up Munin and shit to start monitoring Dude. your own resources, you realize like maybe maybe I've gone a little too overboard. Anyway, all of that's been sorted out. Nothing else exciting at all, really, except Jordan doing them pull ups. Yeah, I can I can do pull ups again. I'm I'm very happy. I lost now, that over the pandemic. But uh, here's the real question: Was this? Did you discover this out of curiosity or by need? Because I just imagine a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's you know you, you you ever seen like mission impossible 2 like right at the beginning when tom cruise is like harnessing this without, without a harness he's like climbing the that that cliff in the grand canyon yeah it was, it was it was basically that except you know i'm an actual tall person not like tom cruise uh no uh, yeah I, I, i've been I, I don't know i've been doing i've been doing a lot of ring roads and then i I have like a pull-up bar on my squat rack so i'm just like periodically i'm just like hey can i do it and this, this week I happen to be able to, and I've been doing the thing, greasing the groove, trying to get, I can do one, which means that with enough work, I can get two and maybe that's, three. That's how you do it, man. And yeah, you know, I'm just saying like barring, like if you're even remotely physically capable, I just think for safety reasons, you should be able to do one pull up because yep. that could fucking save your life. If you're in a movie, Bur- I'll hang Bur- it off are another good one. Like get down on the ground and get back up in a short amount of time. Yeah, that's that's a useful skill to have. Here's a random question: Can you get up um, from laying on the floor without using your hands? Do a standing <sighs> position. Picking yourself up, I can. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't kip up, but I can. I can do like a Turkish get up and stuff like that. So you can make it happen, though, right? Like I, 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 I can. I can make it happen. There's going to be some rolling involved, but I can do so it. So if you're laying on the floor with your hands uh, tied behind your back, hanging off a cliff, you'd be good now. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. I, I, also, I got some. I got some. I got some. Uh, something in you the got mail. The switch. This, oh my god! No, I got the Steam Deck. No, switch. no, <laughs> no. I, I got. I got my new Joy Cons. Uh, this is my third pair because my official Nintendo ones are eating shit. So I got these big chunky fuckers. Nice. Like, 
Yeah, they're they're surprisingly comfortable, and now I can go back to playing Pokemon this on the toilet. This is going to be entertaining because I'm going to put yeah. that in the uh, thumbnail uh, yeah. for the YouTube video, and somebody's going to watch and be disappointed as fuck. They're like, "God damn it!" Right? <laughs> ah, it's deep there. Yeah, just pretend you, it's giving you a headache, and it'll be all good. Pedro, ah. you're just uh, not doing anything, so. Yeah, no, I've been playing Elden Ring. That's yeah. uh, then waiting for my um, deck because much like Rohit, uh, we're in the Q1 group, but we still didn't get the email valve. Oh, dang it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it is very much, uh, very much in the, the whole, come on, just, <laughs> just send me the email. Send me the email, please. Oh, no. Pretty play. <laughs> begins. <laughs> One thing that doesn't need an email to know that it's shown up because it can't really move these days is the horse. Oh, did I? Why is Jordan muted? I muted myself so I can type. Yeah. Low expectations. <laughs> horse can't read. God, Steam. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, it's fucked up. Yeah, right. It's it's, it's, it's botched. Linux week. Yeah, Ah, (laughs) we're we're professional. We've been doing this for ten fucking years, man. It's yeah, it shows. I had to go through the Uh entire fucking like audio tool chain. (laughs) Wait, okay, are you muted? Yes, you are. I I muted myself to type something, uh, (laughs) so that you wouldn't hear my clacky keyboard, and I forgot to unmute myself. What's the okay? News things without clacky keyboards. Uh, we have yeah the well. Some people spotted the recovery um, image for the Steam Deck, and so of course it, this is the internet. Everyone downloaded it and tried to install it on things that they shouldn't. Like me, I tried to put it on the Ryzen laptop because I figured, hey, that's the closest thing I have architecturally wise. So let's just slap it on there, and it doesn't boot, which seems to be the um the experience that most people went through, including, uh, well, the, one of the valve developers, Lawrence Yang even went out on Twitter. It's like, hi, we noticed some folks have found the steam deck recovery image. Please note that this image is made for steam deck and it is not steam OS three yet. So if you try to install it on your PC fridge or toaster, your mileage may vary. Yeah. Uh, steam OS three probably won't run on your fridge or toaster either. Mm. That's a fucking lie. I don't know. I, I, I was in uh, Discord when Arthur Aaron was poking through that recovery image. And yeah, you could probably hack it to install SteamOS on your particular thing of choice. Um, yeah, he's quite quite the Ever Beaver. Beaver. Uh, the one, the one, like we, we we saw a lot of like, oh, they've they've got like their own mirrors of Arch Linux in here and stuff. I think the big revelation here is that the Steam KDE theme is called Vapor, and I think that's a shot at Twitch. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Or their their Steam competitor. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah, mean, they, they had that. <laughs> this is the only thing very important to point out, though, because you know this image is just for X. It's not SteamOS three yet, and I understand this. Uh, I understand having to point it out. And two thoughts: one, Yang, um, Lawrence. That that's a fantastic way to challenge the Linux community over the weekend. You're like. This is not intended. You're like, what was that? What did you say? Uh, it's not intended. <laughs> yeah, no. Say. First, first reply on Twitter uh, from Jayco G. You want to bet? <laughs> this is a real I wanna, thing. I want to see steam fridges, man. <laughs> also, they're, they're completely useless. They steam everything inside. <laughs> I, I'm thinking about it like this. Uh, Valve, hire me for marketing because I could have condensed that entire PR message to fuck around and find out. Yeah, <laughs> I, I bet you losers can't install SteamOS on anything. Right, yeah. <laughs> you fucking cowards. That's how you launch a GitHub repo, right there. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, oh, man, it's 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 time to panic. Oh my god, I oh, oh, man, no. my 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 new Joy Cons came in right at the fucking nick of time. So apparently, uh, the Steam Deck's been having a couple uh, issues uh, with some of the people who got them. Uh, the joysticks. Um, there's a very common dead zone or a joystick drift issue that seems to be popping up. It seemed to be everywhere. Like the DualSense 5 controllers had it. The Switch uh, Joy-Cons had it. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't very good. People were like, oh, man, it's the Steam Deck just came out. Uh, but fortunately, uh, Steam Input does give you a fairly robust option to configure your joystick dead zones so you can actually fix it. And apparently it was just a bad software update to begin with. It was a teeny tiny little regression, according to what Valve was saying, 
that uh, they either made the dead zone significantly smaller, and it's already pretty small, it's like 5% out of the box, uh, or they removed it altogether. So yes, any kind of, if you so much as whiffed a little too close uh, to the analog stick, it would detect movement. Or if it was left slightly off center, it would register that it was slightly off center. Oh yeah, so, you, you, yeah, you want to you want to go left? Well, too fucking bad. We're yeah. going left. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they fixed it. With they just released an update and uh, they fixed it. So yeah, th- that didn't yeah. take very long at all. Like, one of the things I was curious about is uh, Jordan. You answered my question because my first thought was like, doesn't the switch have a dead zone calibration thing? And like, it 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 does. It doesn't do a very good job. Both yeah. with with both. Uh, <laughs> fucked up Joy Cons I have, so that's why I went with the non Nintendo route for this. Let's go around. We'll see how that works. There you go. Out. This is going to be interesting, though. I mean, because Rev one of the hardware, getting it in people's hands, and you cannot engineer for certain degrees of stupid and misabuse. Um, and and I mean, like, yeah, you, these 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 are handheld consoles, right? Like, they're going to be abused. They're going to be like thrown in bags and stuff. So. I don't, I don't know. That's uh, what I'm saying. That's why I want to get one in for testing to do like, A, the Mayo submerged and, you know, and see how long it can survive. <laughs> toss, toss it in the dryer, hit go, yeah, that, see that, That's the thing. Like take one of the side and just, just see how much uh, cheese was I can force into it and see how long it's yeah. still working. Yeah, I mean. Uh, <laughs> does it run better when you fully submerge it in crunchy peanut butter or smooth peanut butter? Fair. Let's find out. Critical, critical, critical data point. Now, one thing that uh, it will not work very well with is Destiny 2. Yeah, this is the deck of destiny. It's not going to be a thing. Um, Bungie came out and said, I had to look up what a destiny two is wrong person to tell you about this, but apparently it's kind of popular on the internet. It's not supported, which like, okay, that's, that's not a big deal. But destiny says in their help article about the guides for the steam deck. Uh, you know what? If you try to access destiny two um, on steam OS and proton, we're going to ban you. You will be met with a ban. Fuck around and find out. Um, Damn. Okay, two thoughts on this. Um, Well, really just one. How do you feel about this? I I can at least respect this. They're not pulling like, oh, we don't know what happened. Uh, Maybe accounts were accidentally banned. No, they're coming out and they're saying, you do this, we'll nuke you from orbit. I do. Uh, I don't like the fact that they they bring up the oh, it's an illegal hacker operating system. Blah blah blah. We got to be secure about our our user base. Like that that bit of fud is complete and utter bullshit. But yes, I do appreciate them coming out and saying we will not support Linux. And like, god damn it, Bungie, I want to like your shit, but then you pull stuff like this. Destiny looks so uh, cool. Yeah. I hear the new <laughs> expansion for Destiny Two is pretty dope. Looks like I'm not gonna play it. So. Yes, you can, yeah, Jordan. No. You can just install Windows <laughs> on your Steam Deck and play it. Uh, actually, actually, I can just play it on my PS. <laughs> and <God>. play it. <laughs> <laughs> play it without um, uh, graphics drivers. Yeah, the, uh, the having a kernel level um, bit of anti cheat like Destiny Two does uh, does quite a few things if you're running it on Windows, as in it allows you to collect all the information from the operating system that is already collecting all of your information, so you can easily just, you know, tap onto that. So on Linux, EAC, or Battleye for that matter, they can't run at the kernel level, obviously. So uh, you can't really get information on off of people's computers using your Whoa. bullshit anti-cheat. Uh, so why bother <laughs> what if what if <laughs> what if because steam is you know they have they have control over the whole hardware software stack mm-hmm. we get easy anti cheat the kernel module See, compiled we, we into steam os this, didn't we? by I default mean, we spitballed this how are they going to pull it off are they going to like tie it to the hardware or something like that like now we can just do it in software uh, lo and behold it's not that difficult to uh, make your security theater work on a different operating system than windows no, mm-hmm. mm, yeah, but and, and it it is just theater. But you know what? They they got, now that now that they're getting bought up by Sony, they got that IP they got to protect for those Destiny movies that are coming out. I guess. Uh, do you think Proton seven point seven point? How many versions of GE Proton were released this week? 
Uh, a bunch, but yes. they're gonna be you're, you're gonna you're gonna be calling them by something new. It's no longer Proton GE. It's GE Proton, uh, based on some conversations from uh, with the with the Proton proper people. Uh, apparently, Eggy and you know John John Linux Nuru is at his house right now, so I'm pretty sure we can get like to the minute corrections if we're so inclined. If I, if I just make some very inflammatory statements about him, but no, um, yeah, the new naming convention is just to make it more easy to identify a glorious egg roll branched. Um, um, Proton when you're giving reports, right? Because it shows up right at the beginning. A um, little easier that way. But the other cool thing is with 7.1, GE is now actually a fork of Proton Experimental instead of Wine Staging. So that means that all the game scope stuff, all the input stuff is now included by default. And we even get some onion ring support for easy for uh, for Pedro, so now you can play. Uh, easy, oh yeah, uh, you can you can play Elden Ring <laughs> online. Also, apparently, there's a fix here that makes Unity games a lot less crashy, mm. which is always nice to see. Yeah, the, apparently, Unity games like uh, to crash uh, in Proton, but yeah, no, uh, Elden Ring pushing uh, the glorious Eggroll himself to get EAC working. Very much appreciate it. I, I I've been wanting some ESR with my uh, Elden Ring since you know VKD 3D. We'll get to that immediately after this but uh, <laughs> vkd3d does not like the pascal cards mostly no, down to nvidia not. not actually supporting uh the pascal cards with the new um directx 12 stuff so the, there's literally nothing that they can do or so i'm told so yeah uh the go buy a 37 yeah. pedro mm-hmm uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> the uh, controller and the game scope integration, basically, since it's just based on experimental now, uh, it this now is just like the perfect Proton because it's Proton with the MF Plat stuff. So yeah. uh, there, there, there may be some wine staging stuff that gets brought in because of the way they, they keep the wine staging, staging tree in the source tree mm-hmm. so that they can pull in patches. So, uh, but it, it's definitely going to be a lot more in line with Proton. And hopefully that makes it a little bit more predictable and gives it a better relationship for like upstream stuff. It could um, be. I mean, I, I know I definitely pointed out a couple of weeks ago, like I do typically, and I say this is a good thing in my particular use case is I find myself like only installing Proton G out of like, Curiosity, regular Proton seems to be doing, especially Proton Experimental, not a Proton Experimental Beta, because that's... Experimental, in, Experimental. Oh, uh, but <laughs> Proton ex- ex- Experimental. Yeah, it's, it's taking <laughs> yeah. care of everything, so good to know. But that's not the only Proton bet for this week. New no. and if you are running uh, the Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge, uh, you are always getting your VKD 3Ds and your DXVKs. Uh, about I think it's like half an hour between every pulls, but you're getting the most recent version every single time. And I've actually been doing that because of Elden Ring, so I've been living that particular life. But yeah, version 2.6 of uh, VKD 3D Proton is now out. It fixes. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and Final Fantasy VII Remake, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, a hang on shutdown in Elden Ring. That's not the issue that I have. The issue that I have is that the game sometimes straight up doesn't launch. I thought the issue you that, had was that you sucked at it. Well, then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's most video games. That's not. <laughs> How do you fuck up pressing a roll button, man? <laughs> But yeah, it is, um, they, they have been actually releasing a lot of improvements because Elden Ring is a bit chuggy, uh, even on Windows, uh, and even on, you know, something newer than Pascal. But yeah, no, the, this particular version of, uh, of VK83D, when it landed, it made, if I put Elden Ring at 2560 by 1440 with everything cranked, instead of 30 FPS, I got 32 FPS. Man, I'm getting some so, Quake 2 RTX flashbacks. <laughs> don't you have a PS4? Didn't they really sail in rings on PS4? Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, that's even worse, though. <laughs> well, it, it's, it's because on, that's it's on 30, low. and Pedro. it's not even holding 30. <laughs> Pedro Mateus, I'm trying to... I, listen, it'll be a consistent worse, though. But how does it run on the Steam Deck? That's the question, right? Like, Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, it runs really well on the Steam Deck, even with the APU uh, on medium at 1280 by 800. Uh, it's apparently hitting 50, which I, I try to mimic those settings here. It's like, I'm barely getting 40. So yeah, VKD3D does not like Pascal I, GPUs. I would yeah, rather it VKD3D have... VKD3D loves AMD GPUs. Here's too. the problem That's with the, like yes. 50. 50 is just enough to make you angry. You want it to hit like 
37, 38. So you don't have aspirations of that shit ever hitting 60. You want to know. Yeah. Like- <laughs> well, like, if, if it stays in 45, 45 is acceptable. I get some, I, it's like watching the Hobbit, right? 45 yeah. frames a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not ball gags. Nay, ball game. We have to talk about a couple of new releases. Actually just one this week that caught my attention. Uh, it's an upcoming round based racing game where you and 15 other players notice why I get my attention. Uh, compete head to head. To be the fastest one on the track, uh, inside of a bouncy ball, of course. It, it's like my first thought was like speedrunners on a 3D, maybe on a budget. It's early uh, access. You can go ahead. Oh, and it's um, finish the sentence the, if you try really hard. Watch me, and uh, <laughs> you can request early access, which I did. I'm in the um, closed beta, the playtest Linux version. When you first launch it. You, it is very clear to say, Hey man, this is like pre alpha. And it is <laughs> <laughs> the jump mechanic right now requires you to go over the edge. It auto does the auto jump thing for you. Oh boy. That's, that, nah. that's not, that's no bueno. Yeah. The, 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 the 15 person multiplayer thing is like very compelling, but man, those, the screenshots give me a headache looking at it. Like, 2D characters on yes. a 3D background that ugh, not, not, Oh no, they're, not, three, they're, one, 3D. they're three. Dimensional. Okay. <laughs> they're three dimensional. I don't know that, that screenshot specifically, <laughs> like my eyes want to bleed. Ugh. These are like crudely modeled after me six. I'd say. Sure. They're about yeah, anatomically it, similar. Um, I, I can't remember the name of the game. Now the, the one that was really popular and then they introduced easy anti-cheat and, uh, they lost a lot of people. <laughs> Um, um, you gotta be human, more specific there. Yeah. The the one that was all about, you know, a bunch of people trying to race to get to a thing. Oh first. no, you're thinking about human fall, uh, fall flat. They just straight up quit sporting Linux. The fall guys. Yeah, Thank they you. didn't have anything to do with the easy <laughs> anti-cheat at the time. Maybe they've added that later on, but they're like, now we're just not gonna do a Linux builds anymore. No, 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 not human fall flat. Fall guys. No fall guys. Right. No, yes. I, don't 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 worry. I I fuck those two up the ex, the exact same because it's the same freaking game. It it is like flo- floppy it physics. Is, yeah. The, yeah. Floppy physics. Uh, very mushy round characters. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, it's it's very very. Similar. Oh, we don't have yeah. Fall guys never was on Linux, was it? No, no. No. It, it ran. That's it ran fine on, on Linux at first. And then, yeah. And then and then they <laughs> EAC did up. I wonder though. I wonder if if uh, they're gonna enable that for uh, the deck. That would be. Good. But that that was uh, that was the uh, Epic Store, wasn't it? Fall guys. It's um, on Steam. It's Is on it Steam. Steam? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm misremembering then. Yeah. Yep. And them's the ones. Uh, yeah. No. With with that one, um, it would have been. That's the vibe that I'm getting from like 15 players trying to get from one side of the map to the other. To, yeah. <laughs> Listen, we got fall the perfect guys-ish. crowd for some fall guys in the after. But hey, if they get on the proton train, maybe like you know maybe. what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe them in the back for blood people can have a weekend party where they click on a fuck mothering button. Yeah, the the Vermintide <laughs> two people can host it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I will provide instructions. I will give you a presentation on how to click a goddamn checkbox. Listen, yeah, you you, no, I don't trust your, insert, your instructions. Games. They all have they all have gun circles. <laughs> how low, how, how legitimate is that fucking low cut right there? EA figured it out. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, lo- 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 loathe are we to use EA as a positive example, but you know, somehow they, uh, they, they squeak it through. I'm not using this, but I'm using it to shame people now. <laughs> yeah. Star Wars squadrons before anything else. Star Wars squadrons. Oh yeah. We just enabled it. Um, uh, Nope. And, oh, that, that it's that easy. Okay, Apex Legends. You know the game that's actually making the money right now. The, oh, dude, effectively, dude, they, they, they're they, Fortnite. They got the, yeah, they <laughs> they got that EA Play thing going on Steam. They absolutely, they absolutely want Steam Deck sales. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to deal with all you Linux hackers. Uh, let's <laughs> let's talk about one 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 dot zero. Yes, it's a uh, patch that version number that Jordan just said uh, for West of Loathing. And uh, this is possibly the, or was possibly my favorite Linux game of uh, 2019 uh, that it came out in. Uh, and it is uh, 2017. Sorry, my bad. Uh, it's uh, it it's a really good game. And hey, they didn't get uh, the deck verified option when um valve was initially doing the checks 
But they, well, they didn't like just having the playable bit. So they decided, you know what? We're going to release an update just to make sure it is properly compatible. And wouldn't you know it? It is properly compatible now. <laughs> I, I, I do I do like their I do like their note at the end. Yeah, the the Mac OS version is already fully compatible in that it correctly does not run on the Steam Deck. <laughs> Very well then. I agree yeah, with everyone. Yeah. I mean, this is like I do not like the um, point and click choose your own adventure type uh, with the turn based mechanic, but I was able to play through a big chunk of this because it was entertaining. It was well written. Like. Oh, yes. I, I maintain, I maintain, this is actually like low key, one of the best RPGs on steam period. And I would absolutely play this again on the toilet and then reach into that toilet very, very deeply to pull out a very stinky magic ring. So do you think we're going to see a stinky revolver <laughs> once, uh, like the support and help network of, uh, okay, how do we get the control set up for deck? And it's going to be streamlined. We're going to see a lot, a lot more stuff verified for deck much to Strider's chagrin because it's yet to click in his head that no, it's got to have full controller support because there's there, 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 there's a few that like yeah maybe may, that the yellow is a little jumping the gun but I I get it doesn't meet all of the requirements I that's what I want though, although because there are or remember some. remember this people <laughs> these things are going in the hands of normies they're not of going dummies, in, yes. not not even computer people people that don't even fucking have a laptop all right so yeah. Fucking maybe is not an option with these people. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Just right. saying. And West of Loathing well, is forty five percent off. So if you don't have it, I highly recommend that you do. And yeah, yeah when the deck gets, I will probably. Be, this is just worth a replay because there's so much content in there. I'm pretty sure I didn't see the two playthroughs that I've already finished. Uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen all of it. I'm Nowhere near really all of it. Yeah. I'm going to be real curious <laughs> to see after you get done with the test all the things on the deck period. Is it going to become the, Hey, let's see if it's placed on the deck. Uh, and the usage pattern for Pedro Mateus, what, what is it going to I become? think it's going to be more of the, I'm not turning this on <laughs> and I'm just going to try and play everything on the deck. And if that works, toilet then, uh, life. Yeah. <laughs> toilet, life. toilet life, toilet life. All right. Coming up next. Zom Hacksaws. It's a good day for open source, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very good day. <laughs> a deck wedding. Um, yeah, so the news, it, it, it's a thing that's totally going to happen. And uh, we don't start with the drivers like we were off to do on the show, though we are starting with some news that NVIDIA probably isn't too big a fan of. But oh, no, there, there are that, drivers being released. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're just not going to be official. But yeah, no, before we do that, we do need to thank you, everyone out there watching and putting up with our shenanigans, as the case may be. <laughs> our our shtick. Yeah, you can if you want to yes. if you want to support this nonsense, maybe buy Pedro a new video card. You can head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Actually, you don't buy a new page. Patreon video card there. That's the other <laughs> thing. But yeah, we get, we, you can, you can sub to our Patreon or our Twitch to get access to our discord. Uh, you don't get, uh, the other stuff with uh, Twitch, but you know, you get access to uh, the discord, the show notes at a certain level. You get the pre, pre super chosen where we talk about how our relatives died and the differences between taco bowls and taco salads and how our relatives drowned in taco bowls. Completely related to hundred <laughs> percent. Yep, that's it's it's the true true. Uh, yeah, but you you get some other cool stuff. You can even buy your way onto the show. Um, but joining our Discord gets some cool other benefits, like Ven does track mania on Tuesdays and Fridays. I was going to say Thursdays, but I'm I'm there on Thursdays. Not, You'd be like, yeah, I know. You'd be like, get the fuck off Twitch, man. I'm, I got to run. What are you playing again? Not Stanley Parable. Uh, uh, that for uh, this week it was the not Stanley Parable. Next week I don't know. Maybe maybe more Cyberpunk. Maybe some serious Sam. I don't know. Where, I, I'm still thinking. I was it. confused. I had like maybe a total of like a minute and a half, and I popped in. And I'm like, what? where are you at in Cyberpunk? And probably not uh, Cyberpunk. Yeah. <laughs> that I honest, yeah, it, 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 it's it's the very <laughs> experimental portion of Cyberpunk. But yeah, okay. uh, but you can you can RSVP to those game streams. I do multiplayer stuff too. Uh, we do some Armello. We do some other other multiplayer stuff when uh, the fancy strikes me. Uh, but yeah, uh, you could get access to that. We got us. We got a store as well. 
uh, store.linuxgamecast.com, where you can cover yourself in filthy LGC merch. You, I, can, I can stare directly from your titties into the souls of your enemies if you put me on your chest, or you can just cover yourself in Hell Elk stickers. I'm not going to judge you too loudly, anyways. Uh, yeah, it's good quality stuff. You can pick that up. Uh, if you want to maybe buy us some stuff, if you don't want to buy yourself some stuff, we got uh, wish lists. I have one. Ven has one. Pedro has one. Jill has one. You go to linuxgamecast.com. Ah. Mouse over that support button. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I added some stuff to my wish list. Okay. Um, I, yeah. Listen, I, I, uh, uh, yeah, it's like I, I, gaming if, paper. If you, if, gaming paper. If you want to buy me 140 dice, you can. I will... Oh that no, place. that gaming paper. No, I saw I saw gaming papers like where's the RGB? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I need I need I need more 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 lighting lighting paper. Um, but yeah, does this thing even work with Linux? Yeah, uh, UVC support, so should oh. work. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, UVC. Yeah, Canada, if it's UVC compliant. <laughs> dear Canada, could you just could we have like a no tariffs and duties just one day every year? <laughs> just, yeah. Happy, happy, buy some shit from America Day, please. <laughs> no, I just look at this one hundred ninety-eight dollars, and like I have better shit to send you that I probably couldn't get to you for one hundred ninety-eight fucking dollars. Right? Yeah, <laughs> and, and therein lies the rub, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, but yeah, uh, we live on your support. We thrive on it. Without you, uh, we couldn't do this. So thank you very, very much. If you can't support us financially, spread the word. Show us to tweet. some people you like. Show, retweet. Show, retweet. Smash retweet that bell fam. Facebook. Yes. By Share Pedro. us on your favorite blockchain, whatever <laughs> podcast service, it whatever it happens work. to be. By Jordan. <laughs> oh, no. Now I died. Oh, ah, Jesus. <laughs> finally, my show. Um, no, we do appreciate your support for each and every single thing that we do. We do the show. We do weekly, daily Wednesdays on Wednesdays. We love to have you there. And as you're listening, if you're watching after the fact, we are live every Saturday night at, starting at 730. And we're live on Twitch at 830. Come in. Stop in. Say hi. We'd love you to come around the track with us on Tuesdays when we test that Trek Mania. It's fun Fridays. It's just an excuse to get together and test our old people reflexes. It is a fun time. But we hinted, nay, Pedro hinted at NVIDIA being in a little bit of trouble. There's, there's, there's some, there's some drivers coming out. Yeah, no, but <laughs> it's not the drivers that NVIDIA wants people to uh, use. Yeah, so um, you may have heard that there was a bit of a... Uh, compromise of nvidia's uh Can infrastructure we stop using the hacker hoodie <laughs> no <laughs> Never. i think that that's uh recognizable enough now that you see that it's like oh someone got hacked okay that you know visual signage i i appreciate that the um yeah and apparently it was so bad that it took them uh took part of their uh online presence uh for i think it was a couple hours uh over yeah, the past a, it was a big Week? ransomware attack yeah they uh they uh they hit they hit them they encrypted a bunch of their shit and they stole a bunch of code yep they, uh, yeah they did and now the uh people who have claimed responsibility for said hack are saying well you either make your drivers open source or we're gonna start releasing stuff and uh, they've already released a part of it which happens to include the source code to one vlss dynamic um Deep learning, super sampling, <laughs> not dynamic. <laughs> so here's a couple of That's, things. Here's a couple of things. And we got a, we got a bunch of like intellectual property tied into all of this stuff. And you know what? I don't understand like what the just straight up benefit is to uh, like going public with this, as opposed to just keeping this on the down low and saying, Hey, NVIDIA, we got this. Give us some money. And uh, we'll make it all go away. Do you think maybe that failed? And like, okay, we'll, we'll we'll do the exact same thing, but with more public. Well, so there, there there's been there's been some scuttlebuck, but and apparently some of the NVIDIA engineers like hacked them back and did like a reverse ransomware stuff and managed to encrypt a bunch of the stuff that they stole. But they had backups. I don't know. the 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 sourcing is a little uh, hinky. I only had I didn't have that much time to research it this week. I saw that um, on Twitter as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently um, they successfully encrypted what they had running at the time, but they just wiped it and got everything yep. backed up. So. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but they, they announced on Friday that, you know, that this, this is your deadline for your response. Friday has come and gone, but you know, Saturday, um, we, we got some broader coverage about the DLSS stuff. Apparently that's been leaked and verified. Uh, yeah, we, we don't know about the, the rest of the drivers. Uh, I guess we got to stay tuned, but it's, it's a very good week for open source. It seems like not really, <laughs> I mean, this makes things like dodgy, tenuous, and like, you don't want to be involved in anything. You know, yeah, you can't no one touch wants to touch. It's like, right. Ooh, I want it, but I don't want it. (laughs) The LHR stuff kind of catches me because I could see the incentive to that. I'm not saying I approve any of this, man, um, because let's face it, when it comes to like corporations, NVIDIA, in my eyes, seems like definitely one of the type of corporations that would hunt somebody down and disappear them just because they could. Maybe not Jensen, but the leather jacket might. So... But being the le- able the to, leather, the leather is made from human skin. I can see the financial <laughs> incentive behind uh, finding a way to completely nerf LHR. Mm-hmm. That I can see the incentive of releasing open sourcing the drivers uh, or releasing the source to the drivers of binary bits. Yeah, it seems like a bit of a smokescreen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's a power move. It's trying that, to win. That just seems Here's like a I power move. It it's like, it's yeah, do what we tell you. Trying to do get, get some goodwill <laughs> behind their hacking effort, which is all for monetary gain. You know, they're more- uh, of, of, of course, but you know, you, you can also get some, you can get some table scraps, open source community. Yeah. So do you think this ends with NVIDIA going, you know what? Fuck it. We're just going to open source all this stuff anyway. Cause we were totally going to no. do it next week. <laughs> Maybe yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I guess, st- or you know what? I'm I'm also half tempted to believe that like nothing will actually come of this, and it will yes. just be a lot of bluster. That is exactly and- what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that, that like that that that's that's the boring non sexy answer, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going to actually happen. So you don't think there will be anything to come of this, or I think potential uh, for nothing. The potential you, for you, nothing. Yes. Did you see, you saw that episode of South Park where like Cartman gets consumed by the trap keeper. I think that's going to happen to Jensen with the leather jacket. Mm. And that, that's my big prediction. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm going to keep an eye on this because with the CUDA leaks and driver leaks and DLSS, because you know, even though you got to be, you know, like 70 Kevin Bacon's away, every engineer at Intel and AMD are like, I, I, I want to have a look. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting for the nouveau people too because like you know that that that's gonna make this clean room implementation a lot more dicier. Like, have you looked at it? <laughs> have you smelled it? Then you're not allowed to contribute to this anymore. Or we're gonna get sued. Yeah, yeah. And has Nvidia like really ever came out with a reason like why they haven't taken the AMD approach with their drivers and like partially open sourcing the drivers? At least the shim. Because, yeah, the, because their product actually sells, and when AMD tries to do it, everyone looks, that's neat, we're not going to touch it. <laughs> well, we, we, yeah, so that, they just make it open source. It's like, okay, everyone else can well, have so, it. So, so, here, so here, here, here's, here's the other thing, though. <laughs> I'm not even sure like they are legally able to fully open source the driver, because they do a lot of, they do a lot of contract work. They do a lot of implementations for specific games, and maybe yeah, there's some copyrighted code that makes it... Yeah, some of that code makes it into the driver. They don't necessarily have the rights to it, so I don't know. It's 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 a lot more complicated than just publishing a game. That's actually right? one of the things that they bring up. The uh, hacking group br- brings up, which is make officially uh, officially make current and all future drivers for all cards open source while keeping the very log and chipset trade secrets well secret. So <laughs> they are accounting for that. <laughs> I can definitely see. I see that brought up a lot, but definitely the a company the size of Nvidia with as much dick swinging ability of Nvidia, like I, I'm sure they own everything in their driver stack at this point. Like any I, current I'm, products, and if they don't, there's like okay, we probably paid this person this much money, and we have it. Or do we just what, buy that what, company what, or that game studio? Like, or really? yeah, how do you want to play this? What, 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 one thing I do know for sure. Dr. Sue is having a very sensible chuckle right now. (laughs) This is true. (laughs) DXVK, performance improvements. Quite a few performance improvements uh, for Assassin's Creed Origins, uh, Elex 2, which just came out. Uh, God of War, GTA 4, not 5, 4. 
uh, and quite a few others. Uh, Arma 2 is also, uh, there's been a couple of uh, texture issues that have been floating around for a while. Those have been fixed. Black Mesa, if you're playing it with Proton, uh, the lighting issues have been fixed. And uh, the Resident Evils for 0, 5, 6, and uh, Revelations 2 have had significant performance improvements. And the what the, the thing that jumped out at me with this release was the bit at the end on the per-game workarounds. Uh, uh, Deutschen gives a very, very nice blurb that I'd like to read you about uh, D3D11 usage dynamic. Uh, apparently, the resources are expected to be write only from the CPU and read only from the GPU. But despite this, some games perform CPU side reads on the map memory, which are supposed to be only writes, uh, which can cause severe performance degradation since those reads have to go over PCIe or at least uncached write combined memory. This is especially problematic on systems with a resizable bar and can cause issues even on Windows E3D11 drivers. The most polite uh, and civil backhanded explanation of why some games just straight up do it wrong and the amount of work that people have to go through to get them to work on yeah. Linux. Yeah, very the, good. Um, very, very good. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the sort of has a point that leads into the, the next story, but I'll, I'll, I'll save it. I will say that the GPU synchronization power utilization and improvements will be very, very nice on the deck once that gets pushed out. Um, also, yeah, the uh, thread synchronization behavior that Pedro mentioned should help both uh, CPU ba- CPU bound games across uh, DX9 and DX11, which it's, it's, it's a thing where like sometimes they're not in lockstep. Sometimes like DX9 will get some improvements. Sometimes DX10 or 11 will get some improvements. It's nice to see that when, when these uh, features sort of move forward in parallel makes things a little more consistent. I think it's just neat, man. I mean, we're we're just the breakneck improvements with DXVK, D9VK and everything else. And to see it come to like the head with the steam deck and just how quickly that entire project's moving on top of everything else. I think that is kind of one of the more important things to put out of the Steam Deck. It's not necessarily a finished product on the software side. And, and it, it never will be. Like, yeah. Never um, will be, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I, I think that's that's like a, that's a perfect segue to the next thing. So, uh, Win32 is the best application uh, perform or a, a, API for uh, Linux, <laughs> apparently. Uh, this is from Sporks in Space. Uh, the links to all this in our show notes. Very incendiary title, but... Uh, it goes in, uh, the, the author, uh, Sporks, I guess, uh, talks about how, uh, about like Linux packaging and some of the, uh, some of the problems, uh, therein, like, um, ABI shifts, uh, d- uh, distribution, shipping different versions of libraries, et cetera, et cetera. And some of the, uh, some of the steps that have been taken to remedy that. And they come to the conclusion that despite all of that, wine seems to be the way to go forward for Linux gaming, um, in term, in terms of portability and, you know, like, yeah. As 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 a as a user of wine, I've i frequently use it. Yeah, it's it's great and all. Uh, but I still I still maintain that like long term this is gonna be a problem for Linux gaming in the future, because we're basically turning Win32 into Java. And you know, as as uh, Deutschen said, uh, wine can never really hope to get full API completeness because a the Windows division of Microsoft is just not going to let that happen. Period. They're just going to keep fucking shit around. And b as mentioned in the previous story, a lot of software developers just don't fucking write code correctly. They do it wrong, yep. and then everything. Uh, then the the burden of support gets shifted to the lower level, which you know Valve has full control over. So that that's nice, but again, it creates that bottleneck. So yes, it's all it solves application portability for now. Hopefully, in the hopefully it stays that way in the future. But <laughs> yeah, but probably for not. now, it is very much uh, Linux can run old Windows games better than Windows itself can. And, and well, Linux can also run old Windows games better than old Linux games. So effectively, operating systems just suck. Uh, but the, <laughs> uh, the what uh, Sporks brings up is actually very, very uh, detailed and very expensive because he brings up both the ABI changes and the need for a runtime and everything, uh, and also the packaging and the way that you have your flat... Uh, flat packs and your snaps and your app images and the distros and steam the devs run, steam, and the steam RPMs. Time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the yeah. Um, pressure vessel that valve is using technically based on flat pack, but that actually different thing. And it is 
yeah, that bit is if you're a software developer and you already don't want to do the coding necessary to do it properly, uh, chances are you're just using Visual Studio Code and tab completing to write the code for you. You don't want to worry about packaging. Why would you? So just put it in an EXE and uh, yeah, Valve then will make it work with Proton if it's a game. The other issue he brings up is uh, there's no such thing for other software, like the other desktop stuff that people might want to use for you games. Some, yeah, somewhere that's... somebody at Code Weavers <laughs> is having a fuck yeah, mothering cr- cr- aneurysm. Crossover, like, I, I'm literally, the, the, yeah, it's, it's that meme, the employee at Code Weavers versus like, I'm literally right fucking here. Oh my God. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, I mean, does it matter though? I mean, are, are we just way out in the weeds of I, I, native is going to be co- better. Cosmically, no. Says you. How dare. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to care at this point with the gaming thing. Like, yeah, as Jordan, you pointed out, I mean, the industry's kind of decided that Win32 is going to be what everyone's going to target for gaming. And um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, because backwards compatibility, like up until recently. Now, here's the ironic thing Linux has got some pretty shit backwards compatibility with it itself the girl i mean yes. you can dial a game back a game release five years ago you might even have some troubles getting that up and running reliably even today 10 years ago i don't know older yeah, than that have to get real lucky right and we're talking <laughs> about a native like, linux version ABS of that time or... exactly yeah there, there, there's a ton of unity ghetto games that will just not run huh. outside of proton now what do we got to do we got to run it in proton and that's just the unfortunate reality of the situation so when do you think windows <laughs> It's not going to be able to run Windows. I mean, when it finally becomes uh, Linux, Windows 10 actually made a very uh, clear break from some of the legacy stuff, mm-hmm. which a lot of people noticed because oh, there were a bunch of games that I used to play on Windows 7 that just don't work on Windows 10 anymore. Mm. <laughs> well, you know something that works under Linux just fine. <laughs> Surprisingly, based off the Doom 3 engine, man. Which, <laughs> it's yes. the one good thing that came out of Doom 3, my God. I have nothing but the utmost respect for the psychopaths that ever looked at the Doom 3 source and went, that made sense, because I don't think that ever happened outside of Carmack's yeah, brain. Good, uh, yeah, good luck looking at the NVIDIA driver source and making sense out of that, right? <laughs> I want to talk about the Dark Mod 2.10, because it's got a gang of stuff in it. The first one being that the, the Dark Mod updater is now obsolete. Step one, you're going to figure this out. Uh, you're not going to be able to upgrade with that. So you'll need to get the new business. All this will be in the show notes after the fact, but a couple of new things in here that caught my eye. First one, new mission management GUI and some stability fixes for the GUI in game, which is good to see. Entity limits. They've been slightly increased by a little bit, by like 100,000 increase, which is cool. Cause somebody even tested that. I'm like, hey, everything works. Load times has gotten better. And Oh my God, Rays. There's God Rays. In there. <laughs> God Rays and Doom 3. Let me see. Can I scroll? Oh, no, it's so realistic. Oh, I, it's like being oh. there. Uh, <laughs> and there's a full female vocal set. So that's pretty Yeah. Good. Yeah. Actually, actually, there is a fully female implemented female thief in one of the levels that got uh, updated here, which is pretty neat. Like they have the model and everything. Um, pretty cool stuff. Um, very nice. Yeah, they're, they finally they're, they're, fixed the loading times. Although, uh, yeah. I'll be honest, I don't remember because I played a lot of Doom 3 uh, when it first came out, but maybe it was the laptop that I had at the time. I didn't think the load times were that uh, slow, but they've been fixed now. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the other cool thing is uh, they added subtitles for basically everything. So, like NPCs, cinematics, um, like a, a, anything that makes a noise now has like a corresponding subtitles object, which is very, very nice. And also, drag a lot less loud in the dark mod. Uh, well, drag, dragging objects at least. It won't, if you're, if you're dragging objects, it won't alert guards because that made noises before. They asked with that. Yes. Yeah. Oh man, we're going to, they can't do creature comforts like that. Then the uh, dark mod purist are kind of like, no, you can't do that. It makes it too easy. I'll just go play right. dark souls. If you're going to make it this need, easy. Need more dodge rolls and thief. Can someone put a, put a patch in uh, dark mod for the dark souls mod? Anyone? No. Uh, Here's a question. Is there any type of like online multiplayer with dark mod? 
Oh, I'm, pro- I'm sure you could probably hack I mean, it together with Libre the, Coop. Right? Just, yeah. Like Doom Three, yeah, we've demonstrated that we can go through Doom Three and Coop. So just just stay away from yeah. the trams. That's that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, any any sort of trains uh, don't work too well. <laughs> oh man! So uh, transistors, Nessus. Yeah. Nessus have transistors. Yes, they do. Um, so this is really cool. Uh, this is Metal Ness. It is a transistor level NES emulator done by the guy who wrote like the original OG NES emulator for PC. Uh, this is pretty neat. Uh, it is slow as balls, but you know, that's what's <laughs> going to happen when you're going to simulate an entire chipset uh, on, on your, on your, on your MacBook. Anyways, this still needs to get ported to Linux uh, right now. It only builds on OS 10, but it's still, it's still pretty cool. I guess, I guess this guy's obsessed with NES cause this is, this is what he's been on about. Um, but it works. It plays Mario. So that's good, but you're, you're, I mean, you're going to play it at like two frames a second, but yeah. again, tra- it starts Mario. You can see yeah. the, the Mario. <laughs> yeah. Like again, transistor level emulation. Like mm-hmm. we're, we're not expecting like high performance. We're expecting accuracy. I, like, extreme I, accuracy. I caught this when this popped up on Hacker News and somebody had loaded it up on their um, Macintosh and recorded it. The, what we're seeing in the video version is you kind of see every single, you know, trans- it just laid out graphically. That shit blinks in real time, according to uh, yeah. what's getting triggered. And Which. you can mouse over it, and it'll give you a tooltip. It's it's nuts. And well, the, we had the other project a while back that tried to do something like this, but for the Game Boy. Uh, and I love this. This is... If anyone out there has the chops and the time to do this, mm-hmm. do this for all the other, uh, like, older it, it, micro system. computers... Yeah, Master System, the uh, Spectrum, the, like, anything Commodore, just get this up and running. Just a visual representation, and you, yeah, like, put little blinky bits of what is happening where. That's, yeah, ideally, you would want it to run at native speed. Let's be honest, you can just do a regular (laughs) emulator, just make some blinky shit for us to look at, we'll be happy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's just FCEU, but like mm-hmm. there's more blinky shit on. And you got to think about that. I mean, when you're dealing with like transistor level uh, emulation, like this real shit right here, uh, you, yeah, you're, you're lucky between one and three frames per second, which is why mm-hmm. I always laugh and clap at the marketing department every time I see an audio plugin. It's like, we've modeled every transistor resistance. Like, no, the fuck you didn't. You emulated it. You, you didn't. It's not doing real time modeling. You want to know how I know why, right? <laughs> because uh, your computer is doing something else at the same time, right? <laughs> it's running an entire operating system at the same time that it's doing that. No. <laughs> so I like having this accuracy. So when do you think, so we got three frames per second right now on a, uh, what do they say they run it on? Like, I think the guy had an uh, M1, which is no slouch. No slouch. No. When do you think uh, we'll be able to do this at like real time, like 60 FPS? How many generations of, or have we peaked? You're, you're, you're going to need at least like the $90,000 Mac with like the $200,000 monitor stand. If you're going to have think, a chance to run it. Doesn't that motherfucker comes like two monitor stands and wheels? Or just no, you got, yeah, yeah. It's, wheels dude, are it's, it's, it's like five, bucks for the casters. <laughs> 500 bucks a wheel. Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's how Apple's going to do it. All right. Don't get my ideas. Well, all right. Well, coming up next, do you like asteroids? <laughs> no. Well, too fucking bad. Yeah. Welcome back to the Chairquisition. What is it? You might ask yourself. Well, the Chairquisition is where we take a game, run it on a bunch of different Linux distributions on very remarkably similar hardware for now, uh, and then we give them an ultra scientific, ultra final, un- unassailable score of lawn chairs on the rating scale of one to four. This week, we're taking a look at Gun Tech 2 by Yanni Pentanen. The the penitent man will, I don't know, <laughs> be Sean Connery. Uh, it's done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks. Uh, what is it? Gun Tech 2 is the return of the good old cave flyer shoot 'em up genre. It's a twin stick shooter implemented by such classics, such as Thrust, Oids, Geometry Wards, and Asteroids. Uh, you can play in single player or couch co-op with up to four players. And we got to thank Yanni for sending us some keys. Pedro, how do you feel about Penitent Men? Uh, let's see if we're throwing chairs at Blasphemous 2, it'd be a different story. But no. Uh, over here on the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, it launched out of the box. It holds 144 at 2560 by 1440. 
uh, which is good because it doesn't really offer any graphical settings beyond the Unity presets. And uh, neither of those seems to disable either chroma uh, uh, chromatic aberration or motion blur. So smeary, blurry graphics is what you're getting. Uh, you can't really change the controls that, that I could find, but both the waz and arrow keys were bound, so it, yeah, and it accepts both X input and uh, direct input controllers. Uh, so if you don't mind the Xbox slash Gabe Gear prompts, you're good to go. And uh, <laughs> I thought you, uh, I, I put in there that you want to keep your mouse uh, at hand if you're playing with the controller, but apparently it's because I never decided to reach for the uh, right analog stick. <laughs> To fire the rail again, so that's on me. So yeah. Uh, as for the fun, um, remember Retro Booster? You know the game that Terry made. Yeah, <laughs> playing Gun Tag Two makes me. Yeah, <laughs> playing Gun Tag Two makes me want to go back and give Retro Booster an extra chair. Uh, Gun Tag Two does much the same. Uh, you fly your ship into walls, you pew pew the enemies, and you land haphazardly near the dudes to rescue them. Uh, there's the repulsor devices and the tractor devices, which alter the physics of your flight, and you have a limited amount of time to get through a level. Standard stuff for the uh, the genre. The thing that Retro Booster did better than Gun Tech is the feedback, like flying around, shooting enemies, uh, all of that. Uh, with everything you do, there's always that sense of feedback, like a slight screen shake or very good audio and impact uh, when you hit something, it, the audio is appropriately impactful and the screen effects as well. The feedback in Gun Tech is... Well, I don't want to resort to name calling, but the word piddly describes it perfectly. It's barely there. It's basically non-existent. Uh, except for the bosses. The bosses and their big models will flash like all white when you hit them. Uh, so if you are of the photosensitive persuasion, yeah, may want to avoid uh, Gun Tech 2. It's not a bad game. It it just doesn't feel good to play. So I'm 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 give it two chairs. <laughs> hey look there's my mute button i was talking the whole time check this out ladies and gentlemen over here on debian 11 land and that awesome awesome distribution it launches no problems out of 1920 x with a nvidia 2060 no windowed mode or for that matter resolution settings but you have effects and music followed by on and off switches that's what you get those are your options i uh, you have to use the keyboard to navigate the menu um, when you don't have a controller plugged in, even though you got like a little pointer floating around that you can move and click on things. You just don't do anything. That's a little like confusing. But speaking of controllers, it picked up my Xbox One SX tricky with it controller out of the box. Just no problems, no muss, no fuss, nothing like that. However, you cannot rebind those controls in game because reasons. Uh, welcome to 2022. This sounds like a blast from the past. Let's talk about fun, though. Because this is Gun Tech 2, which led me to believe that, yes, there's a Gun Tech 1. I went on the search. No. And, yes, there was. There was. <laughs> Aha. Gun Tech was one of the launch titles for the Atari VCS. Random fact that I ran across. Because anyone remember the VCS? And when are you going to install SteamOS on your VCS? Now. Gun Tech 2 is, as Pedro pointed out, it's your standard 2.5D twin stick top down shooty PPU pew game. And, you know, I'm not a fan of how the ship flies, just at the core mechanic. Really not a fan of like losing my shield when I bump into shot either, which is another thing I tend to do because I enjoy physics puzzles and I enjoy shot top down shooters, but mixing those two, nah. My brain's not smart enough for that. Also, the choose your own direction shooting mixed with this one fires in the direction your ship is pointing can go play in traffic. Okay, but I, I did get to the first boss, the big, ginormous, big chunkus boss. You know, the one that you can attack once you get behind it. Uh, found out about that. Uh, first time uh, for me in this game, that legitimate bullet hell broke out was with that first boss. And I was murdered rather quickly. I cheesed it from the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, but again, eh, I mean, I just, just really wasn't feeling it. That Because I, I learned that the weapons also have kickback. And mm -hmm. while that, that's awesome, that's really good attention to detail, it's extra suck for precise movement, especially cheesing in the left-hand corner to kill the damn boss. Uh, now, here's the... 
for me, I, I think the kicker for like a um, top down bullet hell shooter or anything like that is the precise movement and having to factor in the forward back momentum while shooting and dodging didn't do it for me. Also, they get 20 bucks. That's kind of a big ask. Uh, I mean, it looks okay. The stars remind me of a fucking mobile game. I'm sorry. Uh, menus are serviceable. Graphically, it's all right. I mean, it does have sounds as well, but yeah, just, uh, it's just middle of the road. You've played this game before. I'm glad it's on Linux and I'm glad it's on Steam though. Yeah, on uh, Fedora 35 64 bit with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti, it launches out of the box. This is a lot of program art, but you know, it's decent looking program art. I can't really fault them for that. Uh, I also really like the soundtrack. There's some decent guitar noodling going on. I was jamming out to it. Um, but yes, then we get to the controls, the tank controls. That's it's great for bullet hell, isn't it? You know, uh, ha- having to maneuver like that. Also, the the I don't, I don't know. You, you can get away with tank controls if you're using a controller because then you have the analog stick movement. But that's just going to get you knocked into a bunch of shit that will end up murderizing you. Keyboard's a little better, but not by much. Fun wise, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and say I didn't have fun playing this game. Twin stick isn't really my genre on the best of days. And this just 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 cranks up the multiplier by having a really fucky control scheme. Whereas Ben and Pedro mentioned, you have to deal with the physics of, you know, thrust and kickback and you have no reaction control thrusters. So it's all based on your rotation. And so you're ending up spinning a lot, which means that your chief weapon, you know, that big pew pew uh, that only fires in the direction that you're pointing doesn't really get used. And so you can kind of just ignore it unless you can really corner fuck something. Uh, and I really don't want to give Yanni too much shit because this seems to be his passion project. Like I looked at a bunch of the guys, other games on steam and they're all basically this. Apparently he's been obsessed with asteroids, uh, since the Atari ST, uh, he's been making games like this. So I'm not, I'm not going to go so far as to yuck someone else's yum, but I'll, I'll definitely say this, this is a yuck for me, especially if you're going to be asking for $20 for this, there isn't $20 worth of polish here. Um, unfortunately, if, if, if maybe, maybe, maybe 10, but yeah, one chair. Mm. Sorry. So it is pricey for what it is. He is. <laughs> Here's the thing that like, I mean, I, I want to hammer out on controls. I mean, I, it never clicked in my head, you know, with, um, you know, you're talking to, yeah. some, I, I play track media regularly and that is a physics driving you gotta bullshit and do all the math so i know it's not that i'm curious exactly what the mechanic is that's preventing this clicking maybe just too many moving parts at once then again the back of my brain somewhere is going okay we figured out space travel we have lasers we don't have a computer controlled auto uh correction for this bullshit in the future we, we <laughs> yeah, or, or like, like rcs around. or something yeah, we're, we're, like it's all based on where you're steering. You can't just like drift or like any other space game like that. Yeah, yeah. I I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I mean the the controls being floaty, like I put in my uh, my spiel there. It it it's to be expected. It, it, you're in space. There's no gravity or very little thereof. Uh, so yeah, I sort of expect that. But there's no feedback. There, there's just new feedback for what you're doing and you realize that, oh shit, I've been hitting the wall this whole time and now my HP is gone. So if anything, yeah. so much as breathes on me, I'm dead. Great. It, it, yeah. it really is like <laughs> Shut fast up and the various like coins. intergalactic drift. Man, like. <laughs> there is an upgrade yeah. system. I don't think any of us brought up um, for your ship. There, there, there is. New ships and you know, all that. Yes. That's there. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the upgrade hard work. system doesn't make it sound like, oh, I'm hitting a wall, I'm taking damage. No, you're just hitting a wall and your HP is going down and you have zero idea that that's happening. You also, know, when you get hit. Maybe that's another <laughs> thing. I mean, if it's going to be a gamification in the controls, uh, yeah, maybe that's a step too far at an option not to take damage when you bump into things because this is a fucking pinball game. It, 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 really, <laughs> yeah. it really is. And like the, 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 the life system is basically you go back to start you you, you preserve like the enemy state, which is okay. So you don't have to like re murder shit, mm-hmm. but yeah, I, I kind of wish you would even, even maybe just like respawning you where you died. Right. That would be, that'd be good. Or like a little bit further back. Yeah. Something like some, some kind of checkpoint. You know, if there's some coins, throw some mushrooms in there so we can like. <laughs> maybe, maybe a star. <laughs> or I guess it's in space. So there's lots of stars. Stars. But, um, space. And the flower. Oh, there, there is that flower that uh, throws acid at you. <laughs> there acid. you go. 
Acid Flowers. Coming up next, a full guide on how to install Windows 10 on your Steam Deck. Windows 8 for life. We've reached that mystical time where you, uh, if you're just listening Bitch, to it's this, right here in the comments happens. on the timestamps. What do you mean mystical? It's mystical <laughs> science theater 3000. No, 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 no. See, if you're just listening to this and you haven't really been paying attention, yes, I'm talking to you directly right now. Continue right. what you're doing. You're exactly the kind of people we want listening Mom, to our shenanigans. why is the background music <laughs> talking to me again? <laughs> I'm not sorry, but this Shut is up, the hate mail. Get back to defragging. <laughs> Quiet, Carlito. <laughs> if you'd like to uh, let us know uh, what you've been getting up to, or if you'd like to throw s- some shade in our general direction, you can go to LinuxGameCast.com. You hit the contact button. There's a forum you got to fill and uh, some caveats at the top. So don't include URLs. That That's just not going to go through that uh spam golem does not like urls uh, effectively uh and if you're a game developer send us three keys we will have a look at your game and poo poo all over it (laughs) three keys remember according to inglorious bastards this is the german three so i gotta i gotta do that in front of you right yeah that's true i don't know like that's four that's five not 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 four. <laughs> nope. That's a. <laughs> Have fun with a <laughs> screenshot uh, for the thumbnail tomorrow. <laughs> like, I, I, we're probably like flashing some white power signs too. We need to stop. <laughs> oh man, uh, Windows on deck. Let me go ahead and tell you about it. This this was a conversation that broke out in our YouTube comments, and I want oh to we throw down there. this hot take. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We want to throw it in every now and then. So, who wants to read this? Do I got to read it? Um, I, I, I can, you know, I'll, I I'll read, take it. All right, Jordan, I'll, I'll take it. it. <laughs> the it's true. It's true that Windows has better compatibility and is more stable in games, but SteamOS's Proton is in beta state, in my opinion, and needs some time to resolve problems. But Valve works hard. Maybe it's good to install Windows until Proton mature. If Steam Deck will, then maybe game developers will make games native and optimized for Steam Deck. I don't know if Windows will have better power management than full Linux desktop OS, but SteamOS is not full Linux with all services that are running in standard. It is kernel, some libraries, and Steam GUI. I use Windows. Windows 10 and Linux on my old laptop and Windows in my case drains more power until you don't run desktop KDE. For example, those services will not run. Someone should do battery tests on Linux versus Steam Windows and Steam OS versus Windows on Steam Deck to spell doubts about battery usage under Steam OS. Ah, the story on this one, because we were talking about installing Windows on Steam OS last week. And uh, Master Cameron, you may remember him. Um, he posted a comment saying, "Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm totally going to um, totally going to install uh, Windows on my Steam Deck because he doesn't like Linux." That's uh, and he's trolling a little bit, like he does. And apparently, a lot of people aren't aware of it because he got some replies, some very fervent replies. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Um, no, nope. <laughs> here's the thing, though. We were talking about it during the break. I, I want to see Windows 95 running on a deck. I want to see BSD running on a deck. I want Temple O deck. But, but, oh, man. Temp- Temple OS on deck? It would be like the it would be the holiest hardware software combination in the history of Jesus. I, I want like, that shit. It is 64-bit. So. <laughs> full of religion, man. And, like, imagine the Wi-Fis. They'll shoot God rays. Dude. Um, yeah, Temple deck. Wi- okay. Wi-Fi is for sinners, man. Don't do it. Oh man, we don't know. I may to try that. and get haiku working on it. Fucking a, man. <laughs> I, I, I mean, right, let, let, let's let's see some Plan Nine on the deck. Yeah, I, I want to see people go nuts with it. Like, I want to see someone port the OG Xbox OS to the deck. This is the thing. I mean, all of the reviewers right now, people are getting it and they're like, oh, what what be this Linux? I mean, it's new and exciting to them because, well, it's new to them. And, you know, it's like watching the caveman. It was always like watching the MCSEs around Sun Hardware because it was cute because, you know, they were like the caveman with the fucking stick. And like, what be <laughs> thing? Don't and like get away from that <laughs> shoe. But, you know, they're having a fun time with Linux. They're not doing what we want to see. Cause it's like, oh, look, that's KDE desktop. All right. All right. That works. I'm like, let's let's put something fucky on it. <laughs> that's that's where I'm at. Yeah, 
<laughs> like tinker with it by all means. Put Windows on it. Put Haiku on it. Put Plan Nine. Put, Deck the DOS. Seriously, just Doctor Deck. It's a tinker toy. It's a computer. It's a handheld computer. I, w- I would it. love to. <laughs> I would love to see like a customized like retro arch for that, or like yeah, like it, it, they're Laka they're trying has to a make X86 it, version. Yeah, you can. yeah, yeah. They're, they're they're trying to make it as open a platform as you can, so that people can just fuck with it, right? Mm-hmm. That's kind of that's kind of like its chief selling point is like yes, it's a handheld, it's a it's a Steam console, but it's really just a handheld computer you can fuck with. Yes. So when are we going <laughs> to see the first triple um, A? Like what we consider a big studio, big release from somebody that comes out, publisher, distributor is like, yo, this is a Linux spin. This is a Linux build for yeah. deck. I know optimized it's going to be for the deck, right? Like specifically in their marketing, like optimized for steam deck. And I mean, I don't that. think anyone will. No, <laughs> it's it. it, it mm. my, my, my smart money's on EA because they, they've been doing the upset. Everyone's like, everyone's expecting EA yeah, like, like consoles, be scummy, yes. scummy and anti Linux. Jordan, don't and all make of a me walk over like, there and slap that EA dick out of your mouth, man. Come on, listen, it's- EA. If you listen, if you want to give me money, you bought. I was gonna work for you, man. I was gonna be a game engineer at Bioware, but then I decided that programming sucks, and I got it just this admin. Hey, look, you had a logical, <laughs> healthy reaction. <laughs> I don't know. I'd like to think at some point, and we're probably definitely going to see smaller indie developers, maybe single person studios going, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to hammer on this. I'm going to release. I'm going to optimize for deck. If this thing does deck busters and ships in mass, we're talking like a million, million and a half units are sold by this time next year. Somebody that somebody's going to take that second step of like, okay, let, let's build or optimize. Let's go back and dial something up a little bit. At least let's start experimenting with this because this yeah, thing, uh, it's a lot easier than say putting Witcher on a fucking switch. Switcher. I, yep. I, and I mean like worst comes to worse. If the steam deck is a complete flop, the technology is still there, right? Like the EAC implementation is done. The proton work is done. We can still benefit from it. So uh, it, and the it, hardware is existed. a very good Linux yeah. computer or computer in general. <laughs> so, so we're, we're, we're going to see this move forward in some way, shape or form. It may not be in the form we see it today, but the, the, the foundation, there's a good, strong foundation there. I think that's the important thing. Indeed. All right. That's it. We started with decks. We knock the decks out of our mouths. It's, then it's put a them deck or a Boros. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, we're feasting on our own decks. On that deck fest. If you want to get in touch with me, <laughs> the Steam Deck Fest coming to a, <laughs> an arena near you. Uh, get your Steam sausages here. <laughs> if you want to get a hold of me, I'm just at Vin on mass.linuxteamcast.com, federated social media thing, and at Vin Stone on the Twitter thing where I post stuff. And I'm always in Discord if you want to get in touch with me. Ask a question, do that. Don't slide into my DMs because they're not there. That's it. Deck, 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 Jordan. Deck, deck, at the Burning Fool. Deck, 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 twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. Uh, no. <laughs> if you want to get in touch, by all means, uh, Twitter, uh, at unaccounted4. You have to spell the four out as a word because it's someone else already had the number four. So... Uh, but yeah, that that that's the way to get in touch. Or if you're on Discord, good luck finding the upside down T. I know the ASCII code for that. Uh, <laughs> I just tab you complete because you're 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 Una, you're Una. Yes, <laughs> he's gonna be the edgiest of edgies in the home, in the nursing home. He, he, he's Unas. He's just gonna be like a giant lizard man crawling around with a gold in his head. I don't know. He's gonna. Yes. He's, you're, you're gonna have to like try to figure out how to get the upside down T on the label printer for your bedpan. I mean, it's gonna be fucking. Cool. No, I just <laughs> chop it in half before I stick it, and then stick it upside down. Arch and crafts. No, he's, he's, just, he's just gonna smear it in his feces on the walls. That's what's gonna happen. Let's be real. <laughs> upside down lowercase t. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the brand new LGC Star Wars credits. Got to take a deep breath. We got to thank our lovely Patreons, our advisors, Omegas, our Theron, our executive producers. We got Aldius, Barb, Bramp, Scott, Michonne, Mr. Foxdog, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Mike T, Drummer, Kohaku, and Yorji, and our little Nick fans, Darkwing, and Abstraction. 
Good Sea Monsters, Jack, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Tragi, Veritanuda, Justin, Frostclaw, Strider, and the Death Notes, Nova, Basil, uh, Chad, Romeo, Marson, System T, Craig, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Kim, Smashley, Chris, Stephen, Jill, hey, there they are, Benjamin, Doom 2. What? Stephen B, Dirty Dean, Back, Game of Tron, Dodgers, Anthurus Gaming, Rue, Turnover, Cheesy Bacon, Yannick, and Kyle Linux, oh, which yeah. changed his name. <laughs> Like Mr. Yeah, Ramos, Dor many, Dor many Geek, Douglas, uh, Ramos, the Scott, Reginald, Fraser, Obi Wan, Daniel, Jim, Massivoni, Jim, Felicio, Marxus, Felicio. Look at these Bellier. fuckers! Oil of Hope, Monica, Alex. So many fuckers <laughs> on that wall, getting fucked against the wall by Frank. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes you grab the wall <laughs> by the horns. Getting by the, the deck by the horns. Also, yeah. consult a physician if your duck has horns. <laughs> After you send a fit. <laughs> I, I, I got devil deck. Devil deck. Die to fire, everyone. We'll see you next week. <laughs> I, got, I got that Satan steam deck. <laughs> oh, man, the brood deck. Oh, run, 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 in, run in Lucifer's Linux. Five dudes. <laughs>